Well, here's something we hope will inspire women. Apparently, we women never learned how to talk about money, which is crazy. Well, it's time to break that taboo, and Jimmy Rhodes says one way to get the conversation going is with wine. All right, I'm listening. Hey, Jimmy, what's the deal? Money can be a touchy subject, so it can be a huge relief when we find a safe space to talk about taboos. I think it's great to be given permission to be talking about something that you've been told your whole life you shouldn't talk about. Financial expert Jean Chatsky is tackling money-related taboos by hosting Her Money Happy Hours. Now, Her Money Happy Hour is a gathering of women where we sit around and we play it like a party game. And you don't need to be a financial wizard to be part of the party. Just get about eight or ten of your best friends together and tell them to leave the judgment at the door. When it comes to money, there is a lot of judgment. And we were raised, many of us, in these households where it was rude to talk about it, where it was not dinner table conversation. So create a safe space where people can really open up. This is a judgment-free zone. You are in the vault. What happens in one of these gatherings stays in one of these gatherings. So for at least one night, your living room's like Vegas. Next, this is a tough subject and people might bottle up their feelings. So get uncorked. I mean, wine helps. Let's just put that right out there. You open a bottle of wine, you sit around with your girlfriends, you have a little something to eat, and it just makes it a little more free-flowing. Of course, not everybody drinks. It's just about being informal and uninhibited. You're likely to start talking about whatever is on your mind. We're just programming the conversation. And you program that conversation when you play the game. For her gatherings, Jean makes cards containing open-ended questions about money matters. Everybody takes a card, you read the question, and it might say, is it okay to hide money from my spouse or my partner in my underwear drawer? Or why do we share shopping tips but not investing tips? This kind of gamification can tear down inhibitions around a sometimes difficult topic. We feel like we can open up and it's liberating. From retirement to health care to college costs, our financial lives are more complicated than ever. So take time to lean on your tribe. If we don't all share what we've learned, then none of us are going to be able to achieve a future that looks like what we want it to look like. We have to help each other. Showing the money taboo your game face is what's the deal.